So I've been asked by a pupil to film some uh, right turns, primarily at traffic lights. So we're in first gear, all mirrors and blind spots checked. We'll signal right for the opposing car, off we go. There's a set of traffic lights uh, just around the corner here. So mirror, off side mirror, we're signaling right, position's already lane two. Slowing down by deceleration, just bring the speed down nice and slow. Lights are green at the moment and there's a bus coming. So bring the speed down nice and slow. We've got a van behind the bus. So I'm moving into the junction. I've crossed over the stop line and I'm looking to my right to see that I don't run too far into the junction. Um, so gear is now, now one. And I'm looking, divert my attention between looking ahead and looking right, ahead and right. There's a gap now, mirror offside mirror. And light acceleration into the new road as the lights just change the amber. So that's the first one. I've got the camera deliberately pointing, kind of slightly more to the right than normal, uh, just so that you can maybe get a slight view into the new road. Lights have just turned to amber up ahead, so mirror, and off the gas, slowing down by deceleration, and now a gentle foot brake, going right again, so mirror, offside mirror, signalling right, road position is lane 2, braking, bring the car into a position, uh, a nice smooth halt in behind the car in front, it's tyres and tar, applying the handbrake, neutral and uh, just easing off the, the clutch at the moment. We've just missed the lights, we'll be here for some time. We're in the minor road here, so the major road will get a kind of longer shot. The car in front sitting in the foot brake. Um, as you know, when the car behind you stops, you should really use your handbrake and release the foot brake so that you don't dazzle people with brake lights. More so at night, obviously. It's a good habit to be into. Them. So we're turning right here at the traffic lights, the other side have a filter light, I don't know if you can tell but the uh, other side have taller lights, so whereas we have red, amber and green, they have red, amber, green and a filter at the bottom. So checking all three mirrors, we'll move off slowly, crawling into the junction, and there's one opposing car turning right, so we'll probably go near side to near side, now it's safe for me to turn at the moment, I just made the lights there, um, he can't turn because there's cars uh, coming up my left, and off we go. This car in front is going quite slow at the moment, so I'm just off the gas at the moment, leaving a gap. And they'll go right at the roundabout, second exit, so that's mirror, offside mirror, signalling right. Scanning through the fence on my right, trying to get a, a good view of who's coming. Scan an approach, not an arrival. The gap's there at the moment, so we'll go for that. So speed is correct, gear is now two. Onto the hub of the roundabout. Mirror near side mirror, signalling left, there's parked cars in lane one, so we'll come off in lane two. Cancelling the signal, it didn't cancel itself, and speed is 30. Being aware of uh, inactive junctions down here on my left hand side, there's a row of parked cars, the door might open, and back to this, the same traffic lights again. What we'll do this time is just to vary the route. I'll go ahead at these lights, and then I'll turn right in the next couple of sets. So, because I'll be turning right soon, I'm going to stay in lane 2, so mirrors off the gas. Lights are red, bringing the speed down nice and slow. We'll pull in behind the Mini in lane 2. So on the brakes now, and stopping the car where I can see tyres and tar. Applying the handbrake, selecting neutral and foot back to first again. Lights are changing. Check of all three mirrors and pulling away smoothly. So I head at these lights, and then we'll go right at the set uh, down after the railway bridges. So for that right turn, mirror offside mirror, signalling right, position is lane 2, and braking, bring the speed down nice and early, especially with the roads being wet, clutch can back in about 3 car lengths before where I want to stop, and stopping the car again in a position where I can see tyres and tar, applying the handbrake, select the neutral, feet off the pedals. Now these lights are, are shots each, on an anti-clockwise order. And when the lights go green, you have a filter light, so it's a very safe set to turn at this set. Um, we'll still keep an eye out though for maybe emergency vehicles coming, or pedestrians all, uh, still crossing the road into which we're entering. There's some girls standing about over there. So I check of all three mirrors, and moving off smoothly. Filter lights on, second gear before the turn, mirror offside mirror for the motorbikes or whatever, and round we go. I'm on the gas for the hill, my foot's right into the carpet here, and then up into third now. 
Now again, we're going to be turning right at the next set of traffic lights, and uh, we are again, we're against a filter light, the other side of a filter light here. If you can, look for the traffic lights and notice that they're taller, taller than ours. Mirror off side mirror, signalling right, position is lane 2, braking, clutch back in again, in a position again where we see, you can see tyres and tar. Now some filter lights sit sticking out at the side of green, whereas the filter lights in this area sit below green. So a very short sequence of lights, as you can see I won't make it, so bring the car smoothly to a halt in a position behind the first stop line. And the low B that I read, the other side are still in green. They're actually still in green at the moment. Now the traffic lights aren't really flickering, it's just the way the iPhone happens to record them. Uh, they're LED traffic lights, and for some reason they flicker when you see them on an iPhone. So looking at the posing car, he's at a red now because he's stopped, as has the van. So the main road just about to get the shot, there they go. Now most traffic lights work on a system where it's major, minor, pedestrian crossing, not them all. But most traffic lights do, do work major, minor, pedestrian crossing. So we will be next because the major roads on the move, major roads going in and out of the city, minor roads cut across them. So it's us next. So I'm going to put my clutch down and select first gear. Now ideally I'd be watching the cross flow traffic lights but it's quite bright today actually and I'm just kind of struggling to see them. So a check of all three mirrors and we'll slowly cross both, tra both stop lines. So that's me now in the junction and I'm looking right to see how far in to take the car. Now you can see the car at the other side wants to go near side to near side with me. And don't worry about the fact that the lights have changed to red. I'm committed, I'm over the line. I will go when this gap comes. There's a gap after that we do. There we go. Mirror off side mirror and round we go. That's it. So you can see there that it was a very short sequence from my side. Uh, the other side got a much longer shot. Mirror off side mirror, signaling right. You can see that I was committed to the turn. And uh, I've, I've actually seen people stop and reverse back over the line there, believe it or not, for that position. But there was a car right behind me, so that was never going to be an option. But uh, as I say, you're committed if you're over the line, so therefore you go. Just in case I'm making sure that the other side um, have uh, either a red light or else there's a, a sufficient gap between two cars to turn and not affect anyone. So, there's a green man on at the moment on my right hand side, he just became a red man, so we'll be next, this is a major road, so gear is now one, checking all three mirrors, any second we'll get red amber, there it is. So crawling in, nice and slow, again looking mostly to my right, believe it or not, you see how far in, I know this car's coming, so I'm looking more to my right than anything else, to see where I should put the car. I'm going to stop her just about here, now we have a filter light, because you can see that there's a space underneath the green light. So we're either waiting here for a gap in the opposing traffic or the filter light to come on. There's a gap after the van. The van's actually stopped and flashed me. Filter light's on. I'll wave the van driver thanks because he let me know he'd be stopping. And off we go. So, one more set. Just coming up. There's another set of lights just around the corner here. Turn the right again. No filter light. Mirror offside, mirror signalling right. Positions out to the offside. Bring the speed down nice and slow. The road marking confirms this is a right turn only lane. And again, as usual, bringing the speed down nice and early and stopping where we can see tyres and tar. Easing off the brake as we're stopping for a very smooth stop. Handbrake on. Back into first. Now the major road's on the move at the moment, so we're next on the minor road. Looking across, we've got some cars turning right and some going ahead. It's the ones going ahead that primarily, obviously, we're giving way to. So, crawling in nice and slow. And there's a gap to go after two cars. Everyone else is turning right. And it's safe to turn, so round we go. I'll come off in lane one, because that's me all finished turning right now. So, lane one for normal driving. So, I hope you found this helpful. 